Hey, welcome to this radio channel and this is a quick video to give you a um, new web software defined receiver that you can tune and it's located in Western Canada. It's in the University of Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. And it's pretty cool because now you can tune with a web SDR from the West Coast. And uh, pretty nice. I've been tuning around a little bit. Um, thanks to Stephen Cooper who uh, talked about this. And I uh, immediately clicked the link and joined. So uh, I'll put the link to the radio directly uh, in the description below the video if you want to click and check it out. Uh, one word of caution, it is uh, only four users at a time, so if you get to the page and it says that maximum users are now uh, using, you'll have to uh, wait and come back a little later. And uh, because it's only four, I you know suspect that this is going to be a little difficult to sometimes go and check it out. But once you get to the feed, it's pretty cool. It's a very good receiver. I'm tuned right now to 15 megahertz, and I hear both WWVH, Hawaii, WWV. Uh, when you get to the page, you'll see that you have, first of all, two panels here on the left side that you can close or collapse by using the little arrows. So that's one thing to know. Other thing to know that you can actually, you'll probably be like this. You can click Spectrum here and have a Spectrum at the top. You have all the modes of tuning and you have all the uh, frequencies. So for example, here I can type uh, 9580.0 and here I am now tuning Radio Australia, which is still coming in on the west coast of Canada. Of course, modes are here, as you can see. You can tune slowly here by using the plus or minus. You can expand the SDR's um, waterfall to your liking with the plus or minus so you have more or less spectrum that you see and uh, it's a very 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 nice um, web SDR so uh, you can really expand fully if you want by clicking the two arrows you can expand or just re make it really really um, focused on your signal in the waterfall so it's really cool you have uh, the S meter at the bottom, you've got volume controls and uh, waterfall modes, maximum, minimums and so on. So it's really cool and I think it's a great resource to uh, use this software defined radio. Uh, you know a lot of you have been using the uh, University of 20 Netherlands receiver and uh, one of the cool things about the receiver is the number of connections at a time that can be allowed. So here it's really much more, um, you know, it's concentrated on only four users. So it's probably the, I'd say the, the only negative side to this uh, web SDR. Works fine, works from the start. You don't really have to do much. You can click on the waterfall on a signal. Say I want to see what's here. I'll just click on the waterfall and check out what's here and depending on you know the frequency you're tuning and listen to the different signals see what's there really cool it seems to be very sensitive and very interesting to tune so uh, if you're uh, wondering what's on the band from western North America and Victoria British Columbia Canada tune around lots of signals from what I see here and uh, seems to be quite sensitive so uh, to check it out and if you have the chance well take your turn at tuning around and uh, be polite don't uh, you know get on the SDR and stay there for uh, six hours um, let other users you know use it usually what I do in SDRs that are or receivers that are only one or a few users um, you know I'll spend maybe 30 minutes then log off and uh, come back later for another 30 minute session. It gives the chance to everybody to try it. So description uh, of the video will have the link which is up here and this uses a Kiwi SDR which seems to be an interesting software defined radio that should apparently be on sale soon. 
So uh, that's going to be another thing to check for. Who knows? Maybe that could be an interesting radio for people wanting to use software-defined receivers. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos, and thank you for following me on the channel.